color recognition and tracking of nouns are implemented through LAB Color Space. In this lesson, students first learn the concept of LAB Color Space, then study how to use the nouns camera to obtain and set the LAB threshold of a certain color block. Finally, learn how to write a program to make the nouns camera with the nouns gimbal to track the color block. There are a lot of cells and neurons in the human retina which help the human eye process light signals, allowing humans to distinguish colors and see the colorful world. Unlike humans, robots mainly rely on various sensors to recognize colors. NOWS uses the visual sensor, that is, the NOWS camera, to obtain the lab threshold of the object to distinguish different colors. L represents the brightness of the object, with a value of 0 to 100, ranging from black to white. A represents the red-green color of the object, with a value of minus 128 to 127. Negative values represent green. Positive values represent red. B represents the yellow-blue color of the object with a value of minus 128 to 127. Negative value means blue. Positive value means yellow. First, turn on the color block recognition block and turn off the camera white balance. The camera preview effect will appear on the screen. Then, click on the coding block to get the lab threshold. A red detection box will appear on the screen in which is the color recognition area. By adjusting the values of W, H, and X, Y, the size and position of this detection box can be adjusted. Finally, aim the color block that needs to be detected. Here the red card at the NOWS camera and completely cover the red detection box. Select L, A, and B in sequence through the drop-down box. The corresponding reference values of L, A, and B will appear below the coding block based on the obtained reference values of L, A, and B. The threshold of the color can be set. Taking the red card as an example, first edit the name of the color, and then preset the corresponding L, A, and B thresholds. When presetting the threshold, you need to fill in a minimum and maximum value. The maximum and minimum values can be set by adding or subtracting 10 from the reference value. The color threshold of an object may be affected by ambient light, color brightness, etc. After presetting the threshold, it should be tested similarly. First turn on color block detection and turn off the camera white balance. Call the color block detection coding block with the threshold set and aim the camera at the color block that needs to be recognized. If a white box appears on the screen, it just frames the color block. Moreover, as we move the color block back and forth, the size of the white box can change according to the size of the color block in the picture. Then the preset threshold is appropriate. If the size of the white box is very different from the color block, keeps beating, or even no box appears, the threshold setting needs to be adjusted. Try to add or subtract one number from the maximum value and minimum value of one of the parameters in L, A, and B each time until the threshold is set appropriately. The area where the color block is displayed on the NOWS gimbal screen is 240 by 240 pixels. When the color block is located in the middle of the screen, the X and Y values of the color block are both 120. When the color block moves to the right, X decreases and the minimum value is 0. When the color block moves to the left, X increases and the maximum value is 240. When the color block moves up, Y decreases and the minimum value is 0. When the color block moves down, X increases, and the maximum value is 240. First, turn on color block detection, turn off white balance, and set the threshold for the color blocks to be tracked. When the color block moves left and right, the X value changes, and the servo 1 rotates to drive the camera left and right to track the color block. When 90 less than X, less than 150, the color block is relatively centered, no tracking is needed, and servo 1 remains motionless when X is greater than 150. The physical color block is to the left, and servo 1 drives the camera to turn left to track the color block. When X less than 90 and greater than 0, the physical color block is positioned to the right, and servo 1 drives the camera to turn right to track the color block. In the same way, when the color block moves up and down, the Y value changes and the rotation of the servo 2 drives the camera to rotate up and down to track the color block. When 90 less than Y less than 150, the color block is relatively centered and no tracking is required, and servo 2 remains motionless. When Y is greater than 150, the color block is downward, 
and servo to drives the camera downward to track the color block. When zero less than X less than 90, the color block is positioned upward and the servo to drives the camera upward to track the color block. In this section, students use the knowledge of L and B to set thresholds for the color block to be tracked and program to complete the color tracking task. In this session, students track an object of another color again, such as a building block or a ping pong ball. Note that the object must be solid in color and appropriately sized. Students share how to obtain and set L of B color thresholds and demonstrated the implementation effects of their color tracking tasks.